Don't forget to subscribe and leave a comment on this video saying I subscribed. Let's get into it. The Defense Acquisition Council has cleared the procurement of 150 indigenously designed and developed advanced towed artillery system for the Indian Army, at an approximate cost of 3,365 crore rupees. Twelve systems will be manufactured by Tata and Bharat Forge, and depending on the quality of this pre-production, the Indian Army and DRDO will decide the number of orders to be placed with each production agencies. Indian Army is looking to procure over 1,500 such systems. In a major decision, the Defence Ministry has approved the procurement of 111 naval utility helicopters for the Indian Navy, at a cost of over 21,000 crore rupees, which is the first project under the strategic partnership model, under which 16 helicopters would be bought in a flyaway condition from a foreign manufacturer, and the remaining 95 helicopters will be built in India in partnership with an Indian firm. The Defence Ministry has also approved the procurement of 24 multi-role helicopters for anti-submarine operations, which are an integral part of the frontline ships like the aircraft carriers and frigates. The Defence Ministry has also cleared the procurement of 14 vertically launched systems, and 10 systems will be indigenously developed, which will boost the self-defence capability of ships. According to latest reports, Armenia has expressed interest in procuring the Pinaka system, and the DRDO had carried out extensive trials for the visiting delegation last month, and the result was outstanding. DRDO is all set to carry out technical trials of the newly developed Pinaka Mark II system, which has increased range of up to 80 kilometers. The Army will carry out its own trials of the system, and the DRDO plans to operationalize the new version by 2020. The Ministry of Defense has tied up with the Indian Space Research Organization, to provide better treatment to the soldiers deployed at the remotest parts of the country. ISRO will establish 53 telemedicine nodes in the first phase, which will radically transform the reach of telemedicine to the soldiers deployed in isolated posts and remote areas. The former finance minister of India has said, that the central government has ignored the defence procurement procedure, and bypassed several committees to secure the Rafale deal. He also claimed, that the Cabinet Committee on Security was not taken into confidence by the government, before signing the Rafil deal. He also claimed, that there was a huge difference in the price per unit secured by the Congress regime, than that has been agreed by the Modi government. Asok Leyland has said, that it has bagged a tender in the defense tracked vehicle space, and the company will collaborate with Combat Vehicles Research and Development Establishment, to manufacture assembly and test lightweight clutch system, for the design and development of weight-optimized 1,500 horsepower automatic transmission for tanks. The company has said, the tracked combat vehicle opportunity also exists in several other countries, which currently use Russian vehicles. Russia is currently executing $4 billion worth of defense contracts with India, and is in the process of negotiating sales of military equipment costing around $11 billion. Contracts under negotiation include the S-400 system, an order for 48 Mi-17 helicopters, Admiral Grigorov H-class frigates, and the joint production of CAM of 226 helicopters. India and Russia have also reached an agreement for leasing a second Akula-class nuclear submarine from the Russian Navy, at a total cost of around $2 billion. The Director of the Federal Service for Military Technical Cooperation has said, that the US sanctions had affected the mode of payments for defense equipment by India, and both countries are working on ways to counter the effect of sanctions, and using the rupee-ruble payment, is one of the options being considered. Oh, my God.